I'm honored to welcome you this morning to our William H. Gass Symposium, a reflection especially on William Gass's international interests, his writing on translation, his literary reputation and reception, and his stunning translations of the poetry of Rainer Maria Rilke. You will hear a great deal about William Gass today. Let me summarize briefly and make visible some connections originating in Gass's achievements that prompted and structure today's symposium. William H. Gass taught in the philosophy department at Washington University for 30 years, where he held the David May Distinguished University Professorship in the Humanities until he retired in 1999. Before that, he taught 16 years at Purdue University, which, as it happens, is my hometown. That is where I heard his name for the very first time. Indeed, I recall my mother, an English teacher, reading his In the Heart of the Heart of the Country. She was quite startled by it, actually. <laughs> How startled then was I, in turn, when many years later, I arrived at Washington University to meet uh, Bill Gass in the flesh for the very first time. Here he uh, was active among a, an important group of American writers for which the university was well known. Those were very literary times here at Washington University. Were Gass offering words of welcome and introduction today, as he did back in those days, occasional words would turn into a virtuoso performance. Gass distinguished himself among that group of writers for his abiding and marked interest in writers beyond the United States and beyond English. I have especially valued and respected him for that very large interlingual literary world he lives in. Today's keynote speaker, Susan Bernofsky, and this year's M William H. Matheson speaker, which is also Susan, that didn't come out right, a celebrated translator of German and a graduate of the MFA program here at Washington University, found a kindred spirit in her MFA thesis advisor, William Gass, when she took his graduate seminar on the French poet Paul Valéry. Even as Gass has continued to publish into his 90s, his latest book, Eyes, appeared last year. The interest in international writers he fostered via the International Writers' Center has materialized, materialized in new ways on campus a decade and a half after he stepped down from the center in 1999. That is, in a PhD track within comparative literature for international writers. And there some of them are today. Um, with this track, comparative literature seeks to foster poets, essayists, playwrights, and novelists from around the world as they combine their creative work with academic inquiry to produce, in the end, a new hybrid form of the dissertation. You will hear from some of these students uh, in the track over the course of the day, and all of them are in attendance. Before I introduce our first two speakers, I would like to express thanks to a number of people who have made this event possible. Thanks go, first of all, to the original organizers, Ignacio Infante and Matthias Görwitz, both from Comparative Literature, and to Joel Minor, Curator, Modern Literature Collection Manuscripts in Olin Library, who from the start embraced the idea of this symposium and has done so much to make it possible. We are likewise grateful to Rebecca O'Loughlin, Administrative Coordinator in Comparative Literature, and Jody Mitori, uh, Manager of Communications and Special Events, who attended to the many, many details of our publicity, press releases, poster, and programs. We in Comparative Literature have appreciated this productive partnership with Olin Library and look forward to future opportunities to join forces. We are likewise grateful to Joseph Lowenstein, Director of the Interdisciplinary Project in the Humanities, and Matt Erlin, Chair of the German Department, and, uh, for their co-sponsorship. We also thank William and Mary Gass for their cordial support of the symposium from the start and regret that they are unable to attend uh, today. When our first speaker, Matthias Gerwitz, who was born and raised in Germany, joined our PhD International um, uh, Writers Track in January 2015 as our first William H. Gass Fellow. He was already a very well-published author and translator. Among other authors, he has translated John Ashbery, Nicholas Baker, and our, own, and our own Mary Jo Bang from English into German, and also the Slovenian writer Alice Steger. 
His creative works cross many boundaries and include poetry, novels, poems, a radio play, a theater play, and occasional pieces on literature. I'd like to especially to mention his novels, Der Kurze Traum uh, des Jakob Voss, uh, 2005, uh, 2005, and Träume und Sünder, 2013. His engagement with literature has taken him around the world to Moscow, to Paris, to Chicago, to New York, to Istanbul, to Krakow, to Warsaw, and now to St. Louis, where he is playing a significant role in launching and sustaining our international writer's track. Our second speaker, Ignacio Infante, originally from Granada, Spain, holds a joint appointment uh, as associate professor in comparative literature in Spanish and was recently tenured to general rejoicing in both units. <laughs> His work is situated in transatlantic studies and focuses on modernism, particularly modernist poetry and poetics and translation. His recent book, After Translation, examines the transnational, interlingual, and transhistorical features of the work of key modern poets writing on both sides of the Atlantic, such as the Portuguese, Fernando Pessoa, the Chilean uh, Vicente Huidobro, the Spaniard uh, Federico Garcia Lorca, uh, the San Francisco-based poets Jack Spicer, Robert Duncan, and Ro Robin Blazer, and the Barbadian, Barbadian Kamau um, uh, Brathwaite. Himself a translator, he is currently collaborating on an English translation of the Ch Chilean modernist Vicente Huidobro's uh, Temblor del I forget which, which continent I'm on. <laughs> no faith does there, right? Um, we thus owe this symposium to a meeting of minds at Washington University of two gas fans originating in two different countries and cultures, Germany and Spain, with two different mother tongues, Spanish and German. We hope you enjoy the symposium. Thank you.